my review of the G1 Climax Day 7 show, the, the fourth night of Block A, is at the last show in Cork and Hall, as uh, we start with the first of the five block tournament matchups, of Zack Sabre Jr. versus Bad Luck Fale. Zack jumps uh, Fale, uh, locking in a uh, guillotine choke to start the match. They uh, tra Then he transitions it into a rear naked choke. Fale throws him off his shoulders. Chase Owens attacks Zack Sabre Jr. Jado comes in, hits him with a kendo stick. Fale takes Zack Sabre Jr. into the crowd. They go into the upper deck part of it. Zack counters the grenade into a triangle hold. Zack makes it back to the ring at 15. Fale gets back to ringside, barely missing the count. As, uh... Oh, as, uh, barely uh, missing out on getting back in time for the count. As Zack wins via count out. Getting uh, a count of victory here as he gets his first win in the tournament. Uh, one for one predictions wise. Figured if Zach's going to win is going to probably be by count out. Uh, you just, you know, didn't think he could. Maybe a submission, but wouldn't. Obviously, he's not going to pit him type of thing. As uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Lance Archer in the next match. Black hole slam from Archer gets a two count. Running back elbows in the corner from Archer. Tanahashi hits a sling blade. Pounce from Archer. Another sling blade from Tanahashi. Archer kicks out. High Fly Flow gets kind of into a choke slam. Tanahashi kicks out at two. Archer at the cool little corner splash. Tanahashi again kicks out. Archer signals for the Iron Claw. Locks in the Iron Claw. Tanahashi gets to the ropes. Tanahashi counters the black out attempt with a roll up and he gets the win. The Bret Hart Owen Hart finish from WrestleMania 10. A little roll up from the corner. I gotta love it. Tanahashi gets the win. Four points for Tanahashi. Another good match featuring Lance Archer, too. I tell you what, man, he's been great in this G1 so far. Uh, and he is really over exceed expectation. Sure, he's had great matches with Tanahashi and Osprey, which, of course, those are two they have great talents. But, it, you know, it takes two. It takes two to have a great match. And uh, he's definitely been bringing uh, his game to the table as uh, Kenta versus Evil. The next match, chest kicks from Kenta. Evil catches one of them, kicks him in the dick. Uh, they go into the hallway area in the cork and hall, basically the entrance uh, way in the very back towards uh, you know towards the locker rooms and whatnot and uh, Kenta suplexes Evil on the outside Yakuza kick in the corner from Kenta Lariat in the corner from Evil a snap power slam from Kenta springboard drop kick from Kenta double foot stomp by Kenta Evil kicks out of two forearm shots from Evil Darkness Falls Kenta kicks out of two Busaiku knee from Kenta another Busaiku knee this time he pins him Evil kicks out of two PK kick from Kenta and a GTS for Kenta, and obviously that's going to get the win. 4 and 0, 8 points for Kenta. You know, really, they're predicting that GTS, which makes uh, perfect sense. You knew that kind of going into it. If he's going to hit that GTS, it's going to be over. And, uh, you know, 2 out of 3 predictions wise, I, I've really underestimated Kenta's run. Uh, you know, just uh, it makes sense. I mean, he's a fucking top star in Japan. And even just, I just kind of figured because it was block A. And he's already established, though. He didn't need to go on this crazy run. But right, really right now, I mean, he's kind of, depending on how the main event goes, he's you know pretty much in the lead of uh, the block A so far. As his run continues, I mean, he's beaten some top guys. You know, he's beaten Ibushi night one, and he's beaten Tanahashi. So uh, that's, uh, that's some big-ass names. Uh, we'll, we'll see how him and Okada do. As uh, Ibushi and Sonata, the next match, great opening sequence. Ibushi attempts a paradise locks and then out stops it. Springboard drop kick from Ibushi, double leapfrog drop kick, slingshot plancha spot from Sonata. Snap power slam followed by the moonsault off the middle rope from Ibushi, the two trade strike standing layer from Ibushi. Sit out power bomb from Ibushi. Kamagori from Sonata, holy shit, that was awesome. The whole sequence into it and uh, him hitting it, that was awesome. Looked great. Ibushi kicks out at two. Ibushi rolls out of the way of the moonsault. Boom A from Ibushi. A lawn dart from Ibushi, throwing him into the turnbuckle. Pele kick from Ibushi, Dragon Sleeper from Sonata, head kick by Ibushi, another boom by A. Sonata kicks out at two. Kamagori from Ibushi, and he gets the win. Great fucking match. Great stuff. Uh, Ibushi with four points. Three out of four predictions wise as the main event. Champion versus champion. Chaos member versus chaos member. Kazuchika Okada versus Will Ospreay. Huge monkey flip from Ospreay. Sent down Atomico from, uh, from Okada. Backhand spring over a kick by uh, by Osprey, as we keep on saying, Ibushi, I don't know why, over the shoulder, neck break on the knee from Okada, shotgun drop kick from Okada, a, the, the knee drop kick from Okada, followed up with a tombstone, Rainmaker gets kind of into a roll up, Okada kicks out of two, spinning axe kick from Osprey, goes for the Oscutter, drop kick to the back of the head from Okada, 
question mark kick into the Oss Cutter using the barricade on the outside from Osprey. Springboard basement drop kick by Osprey and Oss Cutter. Okada kicks out at two. Corner Oss Cutter attempt gets countered into a German suplex. Fucking dropped him right on his head. Okada hits a, the drop kick again. Osprey counters the rainmaker with a Stanis, standing Spanish fly awesome counter. Whenever uh, he's done that before, and it always looks great. Okada kicks out. Right afterwards, Osprey races towards the top rope, hitting a shooting star press. Okada again kicks out. As a Stormbreaker gets countered into a tombstone attempt, Osprey counters that with a tombstone of his own. This gets layered from Okada, followed up by the Rainmaker, and he gets the win. What a match. Okada 4 no 8 points. Uh, 3 out of 5 predictions wise for the night. Uh, I thought the episode was going to happen going into it in my, in my preview. As uh, What a final night at, at Cork and Hall. All the matches were great to, to good. Really, obviously, the worst match was probably Fale and Zack Sabre Jr. But the crowd popped for the finish for the count-out win. So, really, they're, they're, you know, that takes it as least it wasn't terrible. Uh, the, you know, the Evil and uh, Kenta was, you know, it was decent. It was pretty good. I think, you know, Tanashi and Archer was better. And then, uh, you know, the co-main and main were great. Just, uh, you know, really... A block A again showing why it's the superior block. Uh, we get a break for four days. We come back on the 24th. And uh, we're getting back for for more G1 Climax action. As uh, you know what a night that's going to be too. Tetsuya Naito versus Tamari Ishii's the main for that show. Which that's going to be a hell of a match. They kind of build up towards that in the undercard. As I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, so far in the tournament wise. I mean we, we've had quite the... Uh, the array of days so far, as you know, these uh, these seven nights uh, of the G1, they they've you know for the most part all of them have been good to great. Uh, obviously, Block A has really been showing uh, that it's the superior block. I'm sure it's going to keep going. There might be another night, you know, the, uh, with the Ishi and, and John Moxley, the Cork and All Night for Block B was probably their strongest point. Well, they, we might say that again. You know, obviously, there's a couple of shows coming up for Block B. I know there's that Osaka, Joe Hall. Now, I don't think it's Osaka, Joe Hall, but I think it's an Osaka show that's going to have Shingo and uh, Naito, and, uh, like, that whole card is going to be awesome. So that that's probably going to be uh, the, the show where Block B can kind of really showcase what they can do. But other than that, it's really just been uh, Block A killing it with a lot of great matches on uh, Osprey's matches have been tremendous Okada's matches uh, Tanashi's matches have been great Kenta you know his run has been uh, great so far and uh, you know also too you know Ibushi and uh, Ibushi and Tanada that match tonight was was great but uh and you know Lance Archer too coming out of fucking nowhere and having great matches with guys that's uh good for him he's definitely going into this now safe to say he's gonna be the guy who gets probably the I doubt he'll get to capitalize this run with something in the future but right now he's looking like a guy who has probably been deemed like most improved by the end of this G1 where it's a guy who from the start to the end you definitely uh seen an improvement from him uh singles wise but it's, the thing is he just won't be in a lot of singles matches but who knows now with David Boy Smith Jr. gone Maybe, who knows, yeah, he might get a spot somewhere, but uh, that will do it for my review, as I will catch you guys for the 24th, for day 8 of the G1 Climax KK.